the wolf, the goat, and the cabbage. A classic river crossing puzzle. Once upon a time, a farmer had gone to the market. There she bought a wolf, a goat, and a cabbage. To get home, the farmer had to cross a river. The problem was she could only take one thing in the boat with her at a time. So she could take the wolf across the river, but then she'd be leaving the goat and the cabbage by themselves. Uh oh, yummy, 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 yummy. The goat would eat the cabbage. Maybe she could take something else across. What if she took the cabbage across the river? Uh oh, that would leave the wolf and the goat together by themselves. Yummy, yummy, yummy. The wolf would eat the goat. Hmm, this doesn't seem so simple. How is the farmer going to get across the river to the other side without the goat eating the cabbage or the wolf eating the goat? If you want to try and solve the problem now, please stop the video. If you want a couple of hints, watch on. The first hint is about what the farmer can do with her boat. She can take things across the river, but she can also take things back in the other direction. The second hint is about what the farmer's first move should be. If she takes the wolf across first, then the goat will eat the cabbage. If she takes the cabbage across first, then the wolf will eat the goat. That means she has to take the goat across first. Hopefully, you've had a chance to try and solve the problem of the wolf, the goat, and the cabbage. In this video, I'll take you through one possible solution. Are you ready? There's quite a few moves involved, so watch closely. Firstly, the farmer takes the goat across and puts the goat on the other side of the river. Then she comes back and she picks up the wolf. She takes the wolf across the river, drops the wolf off on the other side, but she can't leave it there because it would eat the goat. So she takes the goat back into the boat and returns to the other side. Now she can drop off the goat, but she better not leave it there because it will eat the cabbage. So she takes the cabbage on the boat, crosses back over and leaves the cabbage on the other side. And the wolf isn't interested in the cabbage, so it's safe. Finally, she comes back to the first side, picks up the goat, takes it across the river, and then they can all get out and they've all made it. The wolf, the goat and the cabbage is a classic problem that is many centuries old. I hope you've enjoyed solving it yourself and I'll see you next time.